Well, welcome to Harmony Express Spoolie again. I really am tired of this snow. I'm ready for it to go. So, it's another weekend of destruction, but I thought I'd show you what we got going on. There's noise happening and destruction. More stuff. Oh, oh, listen to that. All right. There's Mrs. Harmony Express Schooly. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good times. Well, hi. Welcome to Harmony Express Schooly. So it's another weekend. Uh, I think this is like the fourth weekend. Um, sometimes you kick ass. Sometimes you get your ass kicked. Well, a little bit of both this weekend, but I'll tell you what, overall, when you see what all we accomplished this weekend, I think we kicked ass. So let's take a look. We started out with some really cold weather, um, but nevertheless, we persevered, turned the uh, the uh, heater on, and away we went. So brought the bus home on Friday and started tearing stuff out. Still in the destruction mode. Oh, notice... We're honorary Vermonters. More about that later. Anyway, junk everywhere. Oh, this is just the start of it. Look at that stuff down there. Oh, yeah. So, this was mechanical weekend and tear out weekend all at the same time. Come on in. It echoes in here now. We got all of the ceiling out. So, I have to, just because I. Uh, Full disclosure, I am learning all this stuff as we go, but I want to tell you, <laughs> I had a moment. So you see this right here? Yeah, that's an airline. That snakes around and runs the door. Well, guess what? There were a whole bunch of video lines and all that stuff, and I cut all those out and snipped it, and all of a sudden... <laughs> A whole bunch of air came. So I had to double it over and, and, and at least stem the tide. So I had breaks for a while. Uh, thanks to the folks at Napa. They set us up with uh, about a foot of this line and these two fittings. And huh, good as new. We're back together. So anyway, so we took out the ceiling this weekend. And um, yeah, the floors are gone. So some people say, well, the bus was so clean. Why, why are you tearing everything out? Well, look. This is why we tear everything out. There's a little bit of rust everywhere, but I will tell you that as far as rust goes, nah, this is no big deal. Um, this was actually wet in here, so I'm suspecting that we have water coming in around the, the fuel inlet, and that's also the air conditioning lines that need to get out, and that gets closed up. Um, we had leaks around the door, obviously. Um, that was There was a whole bunch of surface rust just kind of building up on there, but it's solid underneath. Um, so we'll get that all cleaned out. But anyway, so we got that out. Um, the floor was contact cement all the way down. So Allison and I just went through and pulled all that up and rolled it up and cut it and all that stuff. Um, and really pretty much the crowbar was your friend this weekend. Um, Allison did get down on the floor. Um, if you see all those, like, okay, there's lots of holes. That's where the tracks were. But you see those little holes next to it? There were actually screws. The floor was screwed down to that. Um, she got down and she got as many of those out as she possibly could. But really, most of what we ended up doing was brute strength. Um, oh, the other thing you notice is that the lines no longer come back and the heater is out in the back. So my goal, um, if you look up here, the bus heat system, that line that ran through here, goes there's a T off that goes down to the bottom and it goes up to the front heater comes back around loops through this heater and then came back around and went back to the back so I would like to keep this I might relocate that someplace else um, but anyway right now I have no heat in the bus um, what I will end up doing is that that line that was down there will end up bringing it back up to the front but I'll show you what I did to fix that Oh yeah, so we're using a little bit of this, this leftover stuff for our, our floor mat for now. Yeah, all the ceiling panels are gone. That's the last of the metal that was inside. This is the floor, look at that. And I will tell you, that has contact cement on it. And when they say contact cement, 
they mean contact. Literally, it was like walking into a, one of those glue mouse traps. Yeah, walking along the floor until we got that out. Yeah, that was not fun. Anyway, so we came along here and... Oh, there's that beautiful engine. All right, so if you look back in here, let's see if I can get a good view of it. It'll sort of focus, focus. Focus, there we go. Okay, so uh, sort of there. Um, that loops that comes came across and originally it went it went down in to the left and into under the bus. Um, what I did is I pulled that off and I did, yeah, I have some spillage, but I, I, I collected about two gallons worth of, of antifreeze. Also told me that I needed service the antifreeze. <clears throat> anyway, looking across the back here, on top is the out. The one on top is the out, and the one on the bottom is, is the back in. Um, so that goes to the top of the engine. I just basically, for now, teed off that line so that loop stays, and uh, we should be good to go on that side. Eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those, and I'm going to route them away from the exhaust and away from everything, and I'm going to route them back to the front of the bus under the middle part of the C-channel. So, uh, so I still have heat. I do want to still have heat in the bus, um, you know, just in case. But anyway, uh, it was destruction weekend. Um, really, we're getting to the place now. As soon as the weather turns, we'll be able to, um, uh, to start going the opposite direction. The next step is to get in here with a whiz wheel and get rid of all of this loose stuff and get it as close to metal as we can. We're gonna treat it with Ospho, which is a phosphoric acid type of product um, that'll convert that. And then uh, we will, uh, we're gonna prime it and paint it. Prime it with uh, Rust-Oleum primer and uh, and then Rust-Oleum, uh, some color of our choice underneath. Um, this was a really great weekend. Our butts are kicked, but boy, I'll tell you what, it was really worth it. We're getting close to being able to turn the corner and go the opposite direction. That's the part I love. Anyway, that's it. I wanna thank you for following along our journey. Um, enjoy, hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you next week when we uh, get a chance to do a little bit more work. See ya.